Alright, what's up my Pugios? Andy Paul's Dogamesplayed.com, Dogamesplayed.com, Dogamesplayed.com. So I've had a number of uh, people ask me how to use the game stream within the Android uh, Android TV NVIDIA Shield device. So first and foremost, you need to have a Shield controller. That's what I found you can use it with. Uh, it'll allow you to get to the uh, stream <clears throat> uh, overlay uh, menu. Uh, you also need to have a good uh, earbud with mic. Um, mine's got microphone. It's a 3.5 millimeter. <clears throat> You'll need that to stream. You'll also need a camera. Right now I've got connected a Logitech camera that is natively supported. What's cool about the NVIDIA Shield is that it has drivers built in uh, you know, with Logitech, I'll just angle it down, uh, to support it natively. So that's how it's working. The sound, though, is not from the uh, camera or my headphones. It's from this. This is connected to my computer. So don't be misled. This mic is my computer. I'm capturing it with, with a capture card, okay? So I'm going to show you how to use it uh, and how basically you can... Um, you know, optimize your settings. So what you need to do first is hold down the home button. The home button will bring up this overlay. It'll darken my camera. But that's okay. You can still see me. And I'm just going to explain basically what this is. So on the very far right, you've got the screenshot. Okay. Uh, very explanatory. Manual record. So this is if you want to just start recording right then. Okay. Auto record. This is a feature you can set up um, in the settings. We'll show you in just a second for how long you want it to record. Um, before you play your game uh, but basically you enable this and anytime you start a game it'll automatically start the stream I don't really like to use it because I noticed it was off and I got a little bit of issues but uh, to each their own and then there's the twitch streaming this is terrific I'll show you kind of how to optimize this you basically log in it'll broadcast straight through to stream uh, uh, to twitch on the very top here you got your toggle icons for your different uh, uh, streaming options, so you got your mic. Right now, if you actually to hear the uh, uh, the stream that I'm doing, not from my computer, you would hear the mic of my controller. So this automatically um, defaults to your controller mic. Okay. Then you've got the camera, so you can toggle this on and off. You got the camera, which will shut me off, turn me back on. I'll probably not have a delay. I don't know. Uh, and then uh, you've got your chat. So if you're doing your Twitch, this will enable chat for your next broadcast. Let's go into the settings and kind of look at what's we, what we've got here. Uh, you can go ahead and have Twitch tell you what your best settings are. Uh, and you can also define your server location. You can enable this uh, option to stop your broadcast between apps. I don't really like it. You can log out. Uh, change the quality. Low to high are your streaming qualities for Twitch. Ultra is for, for game stream only. So if you're just wanting to capture what you've got here, use Ultra. That'll get you 1080p. Okay. Uh, this was that feature I was telling you about. Uh, you can define how many minutes before you start your, uh, your game. Status. Status is basically what you see there. Uh, you can see that I've turned my mic off and I also have it, the recording going. That'll be an overlay of your game footage. Detail is a little bit more. It'll show you the same stuff, but basically what you're streaming at. So we're streaming at 1080p, 31 frames a second, 2.7 mega, megabits per second. So that, that's not bad. I usually turn it off because it's in the way. Uh, mic volume, you can define how much, how loud the mic is. I usually have between 70 and 100% depending on how loud my uh, game is okay and then this is your adjusting your layout you can reposition y you know your overlay with regards to the twitch chat you can change the opacity with the bumpers as you can see in the middle you can you can switch between either overlay and the size with with the trigger so you can actually get pretty big uh, switch to the camera same thing you can go about 60 percent of the screen it's 3.4 mode, you can't get the HT, it's 16.9 um, um, ratio, it's kind of annoying. 
Uh, you've also got your opacity as well. So that's basically that. That's uh, how you use the software. Again, it's, it's, it's pretty good. Um, one thing that I do want to note, because you're going wireless through the uh, wireless direct to your device, and if you got this plugged in, you will notice some audio issues. You get stutter, you'll get um, you know, background noise, and sometimes you'll get the clicks of the controller. Uh, but it's, it's much better than using the onboard uh, mic as well. So I hope you enjoyed that. That's just a tutorial of how you use the uh, NVIDIA Shield game stream uh, for the Android TV. Hit like if you like, subscribe if you want to see more. This is Andy Paulus with all games play.com, all games play.com, all games play.